from the U.S. Soccer Federation in Chicago, welcome to Studio 90. Today marks the 10th anniversary of the USA's historic 2-0 victory against Mexico in 2002 World Cup qualifying on February 28, 2001 in Columbus, Ohio. You can watch full highlights of that memorable match on ussoccer.com. And right now we're joined by U.S. goal scorer and man of the match, Josh Wolf. Josh, can you believe it's been 10 years already since that game in Columbus? No, I, I can't. It's, it's certainly sad in the aspect that, uh, you know, it's 10 years down and my career's moved 10 years on, but um, a long way, certainly from, from those days, and U.S. soccer has grown tremendously since then as well, but um, it's, it's amazing how time flies, and um, yeah, still a memorable day, but, uh, you know, obviously good to see where things are today with, with our sport in this country. So, Josh, if you could just set the scene from that day. It was the first game of final round qualifying for the 2002 World Cup. The U.S. had just started to turn the corner in their meetings against Mexico. The game set up for Columbus, Ohio. Everyone knows it's going to be a cold day, but did you expect that kind of atmosphere and that kind of environment going into the game? Yeah, and I don't think anyone really knew what to expect. I think the first time we, we got Mexico on a, on a, on a real pro-American environment, and, uh, you know, that was certainly the beginning of, of – uh, a real movement in U.S. soccer, and obviously we had, we had a, a soccer-specific stadium for us uh, in Columbus, and the atmosphere was great. It was loud. It was cold. It was certainly everything uh, Mexico didn't want, and, uh, you know, certainly we came out and did the business, but, um, you know, it, it was, like you said, a, a real turning point uh, uh, f for us against Mexico uh, and, and certainly how those games had transpired from the years prior. Josh, you started that game as a substitute. In the first half, injuries to Brian McBride and Claudio Reyna almost set the team back, you coming on for McBride. What was that like for you, having to get ready so early in the game to come on as a reserve? Yeah, I think you, know, I think you see it today in sports a lot. I think when uh, you know, you're on the bench, you're obviously prepared to play, but uh, when, when there is an injury, it's, it's almost better because you don't have to think. You just get in, you respond. It's very instinctive. Um, you don't have to play the game over in your head maybe as much beforehand as, as you do when you're a starter sometimes. So, uh, you know, Bruce had instilled a, a good bit of confidence in me, and, um, you know, I, I knew what my role was and, and certainly what was expected in the moment. But, you know, it was new for me. But, um, you know, we had a good team and, and showed some real resiliency and great depth, obviously, and uh, was just excited at the opportunity and glad to see that it, it certainly paid off. There were chances in the first half for both teams, Josh. What was the mood like at halftime at 0-0? Yeah, it was. It's it's what they are with the national team. It's intense and it's tight, and uh, you know it's it's a game, and as many of them are, that can be that can be spun on one play or or, or two plays, and uh, I, I think that more than anything was was things that we had to concentrate on. Is make, make sure we were even or ahead at half, as as Bruce would always preach, and uh, put ourselves in position to win the game. And and like you said, it was tight. Both teams had opportunities, and um, you know it was just a matter of who was going to break through first. And certainly, we we answered the bell in the second half, and and sort of went on from there to, to get a great result. That breakthrough coming in the 48th minute, three minutes into the second half. It started as a bit of a counterattack and a really alert play from Clint to play that ball through to you over the top. Why don't you take us through the play as you remember it? Yeah, it was. It was kind of like a bit of a broken play. And uh, having known Clint and played with Clint for a while, I mean, there's certainly an understanding between both of us as far as, uh, you know, when plays turn over, if, if there's some space to to. to to try to take advantage of it, and Clint's ball over the top was, was sensational and uh, certainly put their backs under pressure, and, and, and Jorge came out to try to make a play on it, and uh, it was a bit of a foot race, so we, we got on the end of it, but um, I think two guys on the same page in, in a real real tight moment that, that certainly uh, allowed us to get behind them and certainly get the goal that, 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 that spurred us on. That 1-0 scoreline holds almost to the end of the game when you make it 2-0, starting with a play where you almost got stuck in the corner and managed to work your way out. Yeah, it's um, it's one of those. If it works, great. If not, your players, your teammates, and your coaches might yell at you. But um, uh, I think, as I said then, I just it was one of those plays where you just kind of take a chance and and try to roll it in between guys' legs or roll it in between the two defenders. But uh, it did work out, and uh, certainly found Ernie and Clint were, were charging the box well, and, and, and Ernie took it well. So uh, a fun, a, certainly a fun scene. Great memories, and uh, uh, great to be part of. Josh, that victory, part of a string of nearly 10 years where the United States went undefeated against Mexico. That was also the first time that the U.S. had beaten Mexico in a qualifier in 20 years. Looking back on it now, where do you think that game fits into the U.S. soccer legacy? Well, I think you know, 
you know, certainly in the legacy, like you just said, it, it was the beginning of, of a shift in the guards as far as our region and for qualifying. And, um, you know, that's something that we've maintained and we take great pride in as as, uh, as a country, as U.S. soccer. And, uh, you know, even though I'm not currently with the national team, it's, 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 those are the games that we look forward to watching and, and certainly the play you look, you look forward to being part of. But um, I think it's, it's a good benchmark. It set the stage and uh, it, it certainly helped us grow as a country and, and certainly enhanced the rivalry to a, to a new level. Josh, certainly a memory that lives on in the minds of U.S. soccer fans and players. Thanks for taking the time to reflect back on it for us, and good luck with this year at D.C. United. You bet. Thanks, man. Well, that's it for this edition of Studio 90. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.